Hello guys, welcome to AJYS. My name is Avish Mehti. In this audio podcast, we are going to talk about National Mission for Manuscripts, which has been in news recently. That's why it becomes very important for UPSC CSE. Let us discuss about that. National Mission for Manuscripts has been in news because Ministry of Culture has taken up the project of reprinting 108 volumes of Mongolian Kanzur by March 2022. Mongolian Kanzur, it is a Buddhist canonical text. And uh, canonical text and non-canonical text both are different. When we talk about canonical text, we mean official text. For example, uh, in Buddhism, Tripitakas are canonical texts. They are official texts. But when we talk about non-canonical text, we should remind ourselves of Jataka tales. They are non-canonical. They are non-official. So, Mongolian Kanzur, it is a canonical text. It has 108 volumes and it is considered to be the most important religious text in Mongolia. That's why it is a source of providing a culture identity to Mongolia. Definitely, it is very significant for India and uh, Mongolian relations. So now, let us discuss further. See, when we talk about manuscripts, we should know what is the definition of manuscript. And in a legal sense, according to Antiquities and Art Treasures Act 1972, a manuscript is a handwritten document. Handwritten document on paper, cloth, metal, leaf or any other material dating back at least 75 years that has significant scientific, historical or aesthetic value. In other words, it should be at least 75 year old to be considered as a manuscript. Let us further discuss about National Mission for Manuscripts. National Mission for Manuscripts was launched by Ministry of Culture in year 2003. It has the mandate of identifying, documenting, conserving, making accessible the manuscript heritage of India. When we talk about the ultimate objective of this mission, it is to establish a digital manuscripts repository. Digital manuscripts repository at focus on it. Indira Gandhi National Center for the Arts IGNCA Indira Gandhi National Center for the Arts we will definitely discuss about it uh, so the objective of the mission is to establish IGNCA in which researchers and scholars can view and consult the manuscripts with each other Indira Gandhi National Center for Arts it is very important uh, uh, organization institution under the Union Ministry of Culture it was established in 1987 it is a center for research academic pursuit and dissemination in the field of arts its motto is conserving the past for the future national mission for manuscripts is also developing an app to make around 3 lakh manuscripts accessible so the Indira Gandhi National Center for the Arts it's a very important topic for UPSC CSE also so when we further discuss about this institution you should know that it is under the Ministry of Culture and uh, it was also in news recently because Indira Gandhi National Center for the Arts is planning to highlight the work of artists who have been entertaining and boosting the public moral during COVID-19 pandemic. So IGNCA Indira Gandhi National Center for the Arts was established in 1987 under Ministry of Culture as I have already told you. It has a trust which meets regularly to give general direction about the center's work. So it is run by board of trustees which is called as trust. Uh, a very important project, project MOSAM is implemented by the IGNCA. Okay, IGNCA is the implementing agency of project MOSAM. Project MOSAM is a ministry of culture project. It is 
बीन लॉन्च्ड विद द आर्कोलॉजिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया आर्कोलॉजिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कंसल लॉन्च्ड प्रोजेक्ट मौसम एंड व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट प्रोजेक्ट मौसम यू शुड डेफिनेटली नो दैट प्रोजेक्ट मौसम एम्स टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ द नॉलेज एंड मैनिपुलेशन ऑफ द मॉनसून वाइंड्स has shaped interactions across the indian ocean and led to the spread of shared knowledge systems traditions ideas along maritime routes in other words it aims to reconnect reestablish communications between the countries of indian ocean which would definitely lead to an enhanced understanding of cultural values and concerns i hope you have understood what i have told you Thanks for watching. Goodbye.